Alright, hello everyone, it's Team Rocket Draws here with another Pokemon drawing tutorial. And I'm sorry that I haven't done any lately, it's just I was having uh, some problems with my editing program, but everything's all good now. So, uh, yeah, for this video, we're gonna be drawing uh, one of the legendary Pokemon, uh, Jirachi. So, as you guys see on screen, this is how he ends up looking like. So, if you guys wanna learn how to draw him, then let's get started. I'm also gonna put up a reference right now on screen that was easier for you guys to draw, and at the same time, you guys can get all your details. So um, the reference that we're gonna use, guys, is actually from a, a Pokemon card. Uh, I op last time I opened some uh, packs, I got this card, and I thought it was a really cool one. You know, um, just the the way that Jirachi looks. So um, I decided to do this one. So remember that he's not gonna end up looking like the reference 100%, uh, but we do end up getting pretty close, as you guys saw before. Um, so like always guys we're gonna start off by doing shapes you know uh basically a sketch and then from there on you guys are gonna do your final drawing so remember not to press uh hard on your paper that way you guys could erase uh most of the lines so first of all we're gonna start by doing that shape guys um basically like the head shape if you guys notice it's not a perfect oval and um just try to do it at that angle that i have it right there um and then we're gonna do that line on the bottom um right here we're gonna do this one basically right here is gonna be his like stomach area his chest area you know um and then this is like the bottom i'll show you guys a way to uh, figure out uh, having it on the right spot in just a little bit basically like the bottom right there is almost like a football shape i'll show you guys in a little bit right there i fix it later on actually uh, i change it just a little bit um this is where i make it kind of like a football shape guys uh, just to maybe give you guys a better idea of how it looks you know um it might help you guys it might not but just try to get as uh everything as close as you guys um can to the way i have it that way it's easier to follow the follow the tutorial uh but it's all right you know um if it doesn't turn out the same then just make any changes on your drawing just so it could look all right all right so now we're gonna start out by doing the arm so if you guys notice it goes uh, lower than the actual body or the football shape that is and the same for this one and then we could just close it off and maybe round it up uh, it's not that round but we could just connect those two right there um and now on this side we could barely see like one of the legs sticking out if you guys notice right here uh mine's too like long you know the shape of it's too long so i fixed the stomach a little bit um so it, it all depends on you guys you know um we can make any changes to our sketch you know that's why it's a sketch um so if something doesn't look right you guys can go ahead and make any changes all right so now right there we're gonna do the other leg that's sticking out and it should stick out around there um there we go so now for the other side now for the other arm uh this arm actually sticks out around there like where uh, right where the line meets the the head and right there i was just pointing out that it should roughly be the same length as the other arm you know um, and then we could just uh, close it off right here. Um, the end gets a little bit wider. Um, you really can't see it on this arm, uh, but it does, you know, it's just a little bit, it's not that much. You guys can make a little bit more if you guys look at the reference. Uh, once it gets to the hand, uh, the arm's a little bit wider, you know. We did that with the first uh, arm that we did. All right, so now that we have that, guys, uh, we could do a line going through the middle of the head, basically. And this is just gonna help us um do the rest um right there i'll just pointing out that it should basically be the same on either side you know so once we have that we're gonna do this line right here and i was pointing out right there that it should be like right in the middle of that shape basically middle of the middle and then we could just uh, make this shape right here basically that's like the yellow part um on the forehead you know like it it goes down into um Jirachi's face All right, now that we have that, we're going to start off by doing the top of Jirachi, uh, the top of his head. So what we could do is just uh, split the the head right in the middle and we could just curve it a little bit, you know. Um, and this is just going to help us uh, do the place like the head a little bit better. Uh, right there, I was just showing you guys that basically it should be uh, the length of the, of the shape of the head and a little bit more. So that little line that you guys can see at the top. 
Um, that's just basically what I thought was like the length of the head, you know, of the first shape that we did at the beginning. Uh, so now that we have that, we can start on this side. Uh, right now, I'm just going to do just like a reference line. That's not an actual line. Well, it is, you know, but um, we might change this one in just a little bit. I just wanted to add that uh, just to help us uh, place this line right here. So it should be a little bit to the right of the head. And, and then just try to curve it. It's almost like another football shape in a way. Um, that's the way I, I was looking at it when I was doing the uh, the drawing, guys. So, if you guys notice right here, it actually should be a little bit more wider, but uh, I left mine like that and it came out right in the end. Alright, so now around the middle from the top of the head to the top of that shape that we did, uh, we're going to split it in half. Um, right there, I was just showing you guys they should basically be at the same angle as the one that we did for the face. Uh, so now that we have that, we could just do the left side of the head of uh, Jirachi. And once again, this should be like another uh, of those shapes. It's a weird shape, guys. Like I said, uh, the way I was looking at it was kind of like football shapes, you know, like the ends of football shapes. There we go. That's one. And um, these are just the... Remember, this is a sketch, you know, so... It, if we do anything, we could always change it later on, you know. And this I, this shape right here, I actually make it too long. It's like too far away. Um, I didn't notice that when I was doing the drawing just because of the angle that I was drawing it. But I do change it once I finish my drawing, you know, my sketch, I mean. Um, once I I, um, I stop recording, I, I look at it straight uh, like straight on, you know. And I noticed that this one was way too long, you know. It just uh, makes the uh, Jirachi look a little bit uh, weird, you know. Um, so I do uh, shrink that just a little bit. I'll show you guys in the end. But basically, this is the shapes uh, of Jirachi. So now that we have that, guys, we could erase all these uh, reference lines that we used. Those were just there to help us... Um, and do the rest you know just to get everything a little bit more accurate um to uh, everything else and he doesn't have to be that hard guys um i know i uh i might confuse you guys a little bit but uh, just get an overall look at at the shapes you know and it might make it a little bit easier on you guys all right, so now that we have that, we could just uh, start looking at it and make any changes. Um, maybe do like anything that doesn't look right, change it, you know, and start adding all the details. Uh, so right there, I erased that line on the arm because it doesn't have it. So we could do that just uh, so it doesn't mess uh, with the, our brain, you know, because seeing so many lines, it kind of messes with it. And just uh, erasing some might help uh, just a little bit more, you know. So now around here, we're going to start off by doing one of those, um, like, like teardrop shapes that comes out of uh, the side of Jirachi and if you guys look at the reference it basically goes up to the armpit of the of his arm so that's basically how far it goes to the bottom uh, bottom of his arm that is and it has like this teardrop shape there we go so now we could erase the inside um, and now on the other side and the other side uh, it doesn't go like it doesn't mess with the face at all like the other one it covers part of the face uh, this one goes away from it since he's at an angle uh, so this one goes all the way to the bottom of like where um, to the back of Jirachi that is almost uh, almost to the leg and once again it's a teardrop shape and uh, this one's a little bit smaller and a little bit thinner than the other one uh, but just try to get them almost the same size, you know, the same shape um, if you guys can. Because you guys look at the reference there, uh, pretty much the same shape. Right here, mine, the left one's a little bit more thinner. Uh, but it's okay, you know, it doesn't have to be perfect. Alright, so now for the eyes, right here, I started off by doing mine in a circle. Then I looked at the reference um, and noticed that it's actually an oval shape, like an egg shape. So we could use that line that we did at the middle just to give us an idea of where to place them. And uh, this one, I noticed that it almost touches the top, and uh, it basically touches the right teardrop, and then the mouth. Um, so right here for the mouth, guys, uh, one of the things that I noticed was that it's right at the bottom of the of the eyes, like it lines up with the bottom of the eyes. So I do that reference line just to help me out. You guys don't have to do it um, as long as you guys keep it in mind, you know. Um, but just doing that line, it helps a little bit, you know. So if it might help you guys, then go ahead and do it, and then just erase it. And there we go.
there we go guys so now that we are adding, now that we're adding all those details uh we're starting to see a draw a little bit better uh so right here for the eye uh, on the stomach is basically just like uh the bottom of a circle or like a u and if you guys notice right here it doesn't look right um, on the reference it's a little bit more round mine's a little bit more thinner like the stomach that is I fix that later on I don't make that m much of a change I'll probably leave it like that I can't remember guys but uh right now that I'm looking at it, it doesn't look exactly like the reference but like I said it doesn't have to be um, like the reference so now we could just add this small circle which is basically the highlight on um, Jirachi size and at the bottom we could just do this shape which, which is basically like the green the green part at the bottom of Jirachi's eye and it looks kind of weird right now guys uh, so what I end up doing is just coloring uh, color coloring and <laughs> I'm sorry guys it's just it's been a while since I've done a tutorial so uh, I don't usually talk this this much or this long so I'm sorry if, uh, I stutter or like or mess up my words uh, so I color in the eyes just so it doesn't confuse you guys that way Jirachi doesn't look that weird uh, so just by coloring uh, the eyes uh, it looks a little bit better you know so now that we have that guys we could are uh, add the details that there we go I messed up there again um, we could add the details right here by doing those like I don't know what that is guys I'm I'm pretty sure you guys know you guys are gonna leave a comment um, I'm gonna say papers because I imagine they're like papers, you know, like, like, I don't know, guys. <laughs> but the the blue stuff, like the blue green stuff. So now this one, it goes to around here. So we could just do a lining. It's a little bit higher than the bottom uh, shape of the head. If you guys notice, there's a gap in between. Um, and then we could just connect them, you know. And uh, another thing that you guys could keep in mind is just uh, try having them the same size, all three of those um, bluish greenish things. Right now, if you guys notice, uh, the one on the top of the head is way smaller than the one I did on the right side. Um, I don't know if I changed that, but um, if I could help you guys out, I'll let you guys know by just, uh, you know, keep that in mind. Try to make them all the same size in a way. This one being like the thinnest of them all. And right there, I did that bottom, uh, uh, the line going at the bottom of Jirachi's face, uh, the one I'm erasing right now. Uh, just to show you guys that that one doesn't go lower than the face, you know, like in a way. Um, and that's just to keep it like a little bit more similar to the reference. Um, so that's another thing that you guys keep in mind. And then right here, you guys can see his fingers. And they actually stick out a little bit longer. Um... If you guys look at the reference, you guys will see what I mean. Like, uh, there's like, uh, they're a little bit longer, in other words. But like I said, this is just a sketch. You know, we can make any of those changes later on. All right. So now for the bottom, it's like a ribbon. I'm gonna call it a ribbon, guys. I, I don't think it's called a ribbon. Uh, but right here, what I'm trying to show you guys is that we should like the length of the hair that we did at the beginning, the shape. Uh, we could do it starting off at the bottom of Jirachi. You know, we could do that reference line, and that's just gonna help us to know how far or how low I mean to do it, so it doesn't go that much lower. So we could just uh, basically do it the length of uh, Jirachi's head, you know, uh, below the body. So. And then we could just do the shape right here, a rough sketch of the shape that is. Um, I do uh, make the the changes or the little uh, like wibbly details. I'm gonna call it a ribbon, guys. All right, of uh, the ribbon, you know, making it look like it's catching air and it's and it's um, moving. So this one, we're gonna start it off right there. It actually uh, connects to the bottom of that one. And if on your drawing it doesn't look right, guys, like if it doesn't add up, just like the way I have it here, like the reference uh, does, then you guys could always just do it. You know, it doesn't have to be exactly like the reference. As long as the ribbing looks good, it, it, it could go any way you guys want it, you know? Um, it doesn't have to line up just like the way I have it here or like the way it is on the reference. Hopefully I'm making sense guys. And uh, this top one actually goes further than the one in the bottom. So basically that's the, the basic shape of the ribbons. And uh, now that we have those, it's gonna make it a little bit easier to add all the details. For example, down here, it curves up a little bit. Then it goes down and it goes back up. And it goes a little bit higher here. And it connects to the end. 
and then it comes out of the on the side in just a little bit I'll show you guys so right here is just like a line that um, the shadows of the of the ribbon you know so around here it comes out so I was showing you guys right there it comes out a little bit right there you know there we go so uh, I recommend just looking at the reference that way you guys can get a better idea that's why I have it up there um, now on this side of the same and then it comes out so basically right here it's almost like an M shape or like two bumps right there you guys see me doing it although right here right in the middle it shouldn't be uh, too sharp you know and it comes out and then it connects like you said I recommend just looking at the references to get a better idea of the way it looks uh, so now that we have that guys we're basically done with our sketch um, now it's just about making any changes um, I'm happy with my sketch so I just leave it like that you know I don't make that many changes there um, and then what I end up doing is just erasing the whole sketch that way once I do my final drawing um, it looks a lot cleaner you know uh, you guys could just work on your sketch and then just erase all those lines that you guys don't want and then just take it from there um, and just make any changes you know here is my final drawing or like the final drawing that is and it's just like the like the sketch the only thing that i did change uh, like i said before was the right uh, part of the head like the right uh, star shape it's kind of like a star right um the right side of the of the head um like i said before it was too long on the sketch so i just made it a little bit shorter if you guys pay close attention you guys might see where the line was before um it's not much of a of a difference you know but it just makes a big difference uh, having it that smaller you know um so that's the only thing i changed on that side another thing that i did change was like i said the uh, the blue ribbons they're all we'll call them ribbons um I try making them almost the same size, you know, the same length. Uh, that way, just to keep it consistent, uh, like the reference. Uh, so I did do that, like before. I had the one on top, um, on the top spike. Um, it was a lot smaller than the other two, you know. Uh, so I did that. That's what I changed. And uh, I also, like I said before, I changed the stomach a little bit because I wasn't happy uh, by the way that it looked. So I just changed it. But it's basically the same thing, guys. Um, and now it's easier to look at the hands. Like, if you guys look at the hands, uh, before I just did, like, the like the triangle shapes out of that uh, line that we did for the, for the arm. Uh, but now I, I extended the fingers a little out more. Um, that's what I was trying to say uh, when I was doing them before. And basically, the the ribbons, the actual ribbons that are sticking out, you know, um, the ones we just did. Uh, I just basically I erased the lines and just redid them, you know, and it just looks a lot more better. That's why I like erasing uh, my sketch and then starting over and just using the sketch uh, as my final drawing. So basically, that's it, guys. I didn't make that many changes. Um, obviously, it looks a lot different, a lot cleaner, a lot better just because... Uh, the lines are cleaner you know it's not a sketch no more I worked on the lines a little bit more I made them as uh, close as I could to the reference you know but it's basically the same as the sketch uh, so just make any changes to your sketch guys you know and and then from there on you guys could just do your final drawing either just uh, going over your lines your final drawing with the pen or whatever there's a lot of people that do that uh, or you guys could just go ahead and do it the same way that I did by erasing the whole sketch and then uh, just starting over and just making all those uh, final lines um and i did end up coloring as you guys see here i used my prisma premier color markers i used um a regular yellow a gold and like a light brown uh for like the yellow parts and then i used the light gray which was too dark i had a lighter one but i can't find it um and i used that for the body for the shadows it doesn't look that good guys you know it looks too weird um maybe if i would have used a, a lot less gray it would have looked a little bit better but uh, I regret doing the gray on the body, but it still looks okay, you know um, And then for the eyes I use just the black and then the same color that I use for the ribbons that are sticking out the light Like the bluish greenish color like a mint color almost a, a dark mint um, For the ribbons I, I use the same thing for the eyes the bottom of the eye 
um and that's it guys basically that's it and then i just left it in um in pencil i could have done it in sharpie like the outline or in a pen uh, but when i was doing it usually i do that at the end you know i either outline the the whole drawing um in pen or or uh, fine tip sharpie uh but when i was coloring in and i was finished uh, it, it looked cool you know it looked all right kind of looked like the reference you know um it didn't really uh, bring um I don't know, it just looked alright, so I liked it uh, that way, and I just left it like that. Um, and for the mouth, I just used the pink, and then kind of a darker pink, um, and just used the darker one for the shadows, and just try to uh, blend them in, you know, as much as I could. Um, since it's really small, it was harder to get in the the end of the the top of the mouth. If you guys look at the reference, it's a little bit darker, you know. Um, and since it's it was it's so small, the drawing that is. Uh, it was really hard to do that so I just left it like that and I think it looks okay um, And overall that's it guys so hopefully I was able to help you guys if not uh, You guys could always just try again or maybe there's a better tutorial out there uh, Just don't give up you know so I just want to thank you guys for watching And remember to send in any of your Pokemon drawings if you guys want them featured at the beginning of my videos Just like the ones you saw on this one and just stay tuned for any more tutorials that I might do in the future um, leave a comment if there's a Pokemon that you want me to do but just remember you know I got so many suggestions there's so many Pokemon I need to do so it might take a while for me to do it or maybe I'll, I already have a tutorial on the Pokemon that you guys want me to draw so make sure uh, make sure <laughs> I'm sorry guys, uh, make sure to check out my channel for other Pokemon tutorials, I have over 100 now, I think it's like 150 tutorials, so make sure to go check them out, and uh, yeah, I guess I'll just catch you guys on the next video, Team Rocket Draws, out.